if you become very exuberantly joyful today, tomorrow you will be miserable. It is generally said in the... Uh, you will have the necessary energy to hit the peaks. It's not even fair, just to do simple things that every other creature is doing. Right now, look at the sparrows, uh, evening family affairs, they are settling. With a bird brain, but they are managing it in their own way. For this human beings are with such a big brain, freaking out. This is because their engagement with the world is compulsive, not conscious. This is a good time for you to experiment with this, that you bring some pratyahara into your life. Wherever you are, whoever you are, it doesn't meet, matter, you don't need any training. Just sit with eyes closed. It's all right, mind is running away, let it run. Don't try to stop it, because there are no brakes on it. All the three per pedals are throttled, whichever way you touch it, it'll only run faster. So don't do anything, it will run. It will run because it has a certain karmic momentum. If you just leave it for some time without tending to it, it will slow down and it will stop. Do not worry about stopping the mind, not stopping the mind. All I am saying is, do not engage with the outside world for whatever number of hours that you can. Start with an hour, push it to six to twelve hours a day. You will see, uh, you will have the necessary energy to hit the peaks. Right now the biggest problem, why human beings are not able to become blissful and exuberant within themselves is lack of energy. If they're joyful for three minutes, then they will sink like that. Actually, there are sayings like this in the society, socially people believe that if you become very exuberantly joyful today, tomorrow you will be miserable. It is generally said in the society, don't be so happy because tomorrow you will become miserable. Because their batteries are like that, that today if they are very exuberant, tomorrow it will become depressed. So pratyahara is a key element to create that kind of an energy system which can take any experience of life in its stride and doesn't put you down. Good time to turn to Pratyahara. Mm. The important thing is, if you engage with your thought process, that is not internal, that is also engagement with the world. No, no, I did not look at anybody's face, I was just thinking. This is also engagement with the world because your thought doesn't belong to you. The content of the thought is all from outside. You are running a private world in your head, but there is no private world. There existentially there is only one world, you either live in it or you don't. Your private world is a madhouse that you made up. Sometimes, of course, it gives you some pleasure, but living in an illusory made-up world is not going to last for long. Especially if you... you know, people are always saying, I got disillusioned. This is my blessing, you must get disillusioned as quickly as possible. Because disillusion means all your illusions got destroyed. Should this not happen at the very beginning of life? It should happen at the earliest time that all your illusions fell apart. My blessing is, may you live in the majestic beauty of this creation, not in your own illusion, however sweet it looks right now.